Morning guys, so um, guys and girls, so I had a question the other day about some sizes and weights of my cookeries and I thought I kind of mentioned it but never never gone in details into them so I thought I would do that, just do some basic measurements. So this is the BK21 and 754 grams in the sheath, remove the sheath. 650 grams, and that's what it says on the website too. So, good, good blade. Slightly to me, just really, yeah, very perhaps slightly on the heavy side. Now the overall length from tip, and I'll do this in centimeters because that's what I deal with. Um, 47. Maybe 47 and a half. If you look at the little crown thingy, um, people talk about belly depth, and that's kind of like the perhaps the thickest bit of the sweet spot. So five and a half. Actual blade itself is 33 and a half from the actual cutting edge to the tip. 32 and then I guess if you want to get a little flash you could measure the, the curve and stuff and then the, the thickness of the blade at its thickest point just under 5 mil so it's 4.7 I think so 650 grams it's 1095 crow van which is an odd ball um, to be honest 1095 isn't knife steel I know a lot of people make it out of knives it's because it's cheap, it's easy to heat treat, it's readily available. To be perfectly honest, it's structural steel if anything, but hey, it is what it is. And um, this is a good chopper. If you want something that's cookery-like, then this will do a really good, fantastic job of having a comfortable Western-style handle and a repeatable knife, so that if you lose it, you really like it. Let's buy another one off the shelf. <coughs> this one here is the Tora Blades, the Mark 1. Doing something weird. So its total weight 907 grams. 906. So it's got a really well made sheath. The blade itself. 690 grams, so as far as I'm concerned, 609, <laughs> it's probably slightly too heavy. I mean, that 650 on the other one was very, very slightly too heavy as well, and this is definitely tipping the scales. But I mean, look at that, just look at that. That's, that's 9 mil. It's got a distal taper, but you know. This is a big, big, heavy blade. Total length, 48. Blade, just under 35. And the actual cutting length of the blade, 32 and a half. Big boy, big blade. Nice polish. 5160 spring steel. Um, wooden handle with the sunken nut. So it's a stick or rat tail. But this is a really fantastic blade. But it's just a bit heavy. I mean, it's all hard enough. But if you're swinging it all day, you've got to be aware that you are carrying and dragging that around with you. And it will tire you out. And as I said before, well, for my hand at least, when I grip, I get a hot spot right, right there. So, next up, we'll have a look at this one here. This one here is, I'll reset that again, the Heritage Blades Papu, which, like I said, might be a, um, 
bait away about at name, whether it's correct or not. So 1,029 grams. There you go. Whoa, -ho. remember it does have the two little knives, or one knife and a sharpener here, and a big sheet. Now the actual weight of the blade, once I've pulled that out, 634. Now this is closer to what I expect is a manageable weight. I know I said the, the other one is just maybe slightly tipping the scales. This one's got a touch of rust, I need to tidy that up. Um, this is pretty close to it, but yeah. It's a big blade though. How big is it? Well, we're looking at, bring that in, 51, 51 and a half. So, big blade, but it's thin. See, that's only maybe five at the most, and then it curves down to a really nice distal taper. And it's a big blade. You'll have a. <laughs> There's a lot of chopping in this one. 39. And then if we measure it from the, the notch, so the actual sharp bit, you see that? 35 and a half. Um, I didn't measure the belly in the other one. Huh. Go back and do that quickly. The belly on this one, just over seven. So a lot of knife, a lot of bang for your buck. Um, out again and look at the belly on this one it's not a big belly um it does have a good curve though but yeah the belly i don't really know why people have a belly just over six should get these with a more of a polish i think for the end of the day all right now we come to our kailash blades Start with the first one I got. This is the Marshall M43. And it probably doesn't have anything realistically to do with the M43, but that's what they call it anyway. Um, 830 grams. What I like about these guys is their heat treatment. I think the heat treatment is one of the best in the business. 565. You know? <laughs> So this is a blade that you can wield all day without stressing about. Um, 40, 46 and a bit. The blade length. Thirty-two. The cutting edge length. 30. So, so yeah, you're getting a lot less blade, which is, explains its weight, but it's a very comfortable handle. Good swing. Heat treatment is, is you know, best in the business. Four mil wide blade and the old belly dip. Six. It's the smallest blade so far, but um, that handle and that weight you can just chop all day. Bang, 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 bang. Very nice. And of course, like I said, heat treatment. Second to none. I did have, and I keep having to mention that, the edge of this one did chip. Um, not through impact, unfortunately, but just through probably pressure change. Coming from the pool to New Zealand. This is my end collar. Every time I pull this out, it's just a, just a beautiful blade. Um, oh, it's going off. Here we go. Turn that back on. For the play game. Yep. Here we go. Seven ninety-five. Six oh four. So, for me, that, that's kind of smack on the money, really. 
that white is really good. Um, length. Looking around 45, 46 centimeters. Blade length. The two and a half. Cutting edge, interestingly, shortest of the lot, coming in at just over 29, but what a cutter. And good distal taper, starting seven, going down, big fuller, six on the old belly, and a, and a great blade. Now, obviously, I've had stack leather handle. You can also get a stack leather handle traditional style, so with a ridge. I think the I think your hand isn't really going to slip on that anyway, but yeah, such a nice blade this one, and cola, designed for chopping, but will slice beautifully as well. Honestly, if I was reaching for one, this is probably the one that I would reach for at the moment. Last of the Kailash blades is the Surapati. This is a full tang surapati, so that definitely adds weight. 780, string 782. The blade itself though. 590, so despite its length and the fact that it's full tang, it's still a light blade. And <laughs> when you swing this, boy, whoosh, sheesh, speed it gets up to. And this devastation it creates. All right, 54 centimeters. So, this, in my opinion, <laughs> it's almost too long. Not by much. 40 and a half. And a cutting edge. Here over 38. Yes. I mean, right there, if you're looking, you know, five, but distal taper brings it right down to the tip. The weakness, in my opinion, has only got a four and a half millimeter belly, so the sweet spot is just there, and the the problem that I find is that, this is going to be a weird one for you, but when I'm out camping and I cook, I, I use the the blade as, as a spatula. I you know, order one or uh, take one, but I tend to use that and it's just hard to flip an egg with something that size. <laughs> anyway, so that's specs on the, my cookeries. Obviously I've still got this one up here on the wall that I... I retired, um, but I'm not really looking at that at the moment. You anyway, know, guys, that's that's. Uh, there's some specs for you, and uh, have a great New Year's, and uh, I'll catch you next year. Cheers, guys. Thank you.